Hey y'all, hi, here's what happened. I just finished filming my lipstick declutter. I thought it was gonna be a full collection lip product declutter, but I got to the end of the lipstick part and I was like, this has been a whole video. So I ended that video and now I'm starting a new one. In this video, I'm gonna be decluttering my lip glosses and lip liners. I'm also gonna be putting my lipsticks away because I forgot to do it at the end of that video. I forgot to put them back into their acrylic containers. So as soon as we transition to the meat of the video, I'll put all these lipsticks away, and then I'll lay all of these out and begin to discuss them. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Hannah, and I love beautiful things. I, I clearly love lip products, but I don't wanna have too many. I don't want there to be things in here that I forgot about, that got too old to use, or that I just don't really, really love. I wanna love everything I have. So from time to time, I revisit my collection and make sure that I still love everything I have. If you like this kind of thing, especially if you enjoy these overhead videos, then I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I post three videos a week. Now let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video. Okay, this is not going to be nearly as long and trying of a video as the lipstick one was because I clearly don't have as many glosses as I have lipsticks. And also I'm remembering now that I, I didn't really wear lip gloss very much before 2020, 1920. Like I, I wasn't much of a gloss girl back in the day. I had like seven or eight really old lipsticks that I was hanging on to because I had loved them even though they were like six years old. And so there was this long and arduous process of sorting them out from the lipsticks and then this emotional process of letting them go. I don't know if I'm gonna really have to do that today except for with this. Look how ridiculous this is. I really love it. Look, it's like the same color as my, my nails. Okay, here's the thing. This is clearly, it's it's really got to go. I mean, I think that I probably bought this in 2016 and I've clearly gotten very good use out of it. But I'm gonna hang on to this little stub because I, I want to find out whether this exact color has been renamed something else by Givenchy because they renamed all of their lip pencils. They like redid their line of lip pencils. And I think that Number nine is no longer this color, but I think that they might have made this color a different number and given it a different name. So at some point, I need to take this to Sephora and swatch it next to the samples at the Givenchy gondola and find out if I can replace this. I don't know if I'll replace it right away. I just want to find out before I get rid of this. But first, let's find out if anything, any of the lip pencils that I own, let's find out if any of them is close to this color or maybe a dupe for this color. Okay, so this long stripe is obviously the Givenchy. And then on top there, that is the closest dupe. That's Kitten, which is an M Cosmetics lip liner. And then underneath Kitten, we have the NYX uh, Lip Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. Underneath that is LA Girl Cafe. And I'm missing an LA Girl lip liner that I have. I don't know where it is. I have it somewhere. It's called Sugar and Spice. And Sugar and Spice is more pink than cafe so it actually might be 
uh, kind of a dupe as well. Underneath Cafe Vert is this lip liner from Lancome, which is called Natural Mauve. I almost called it Marvelous Mauve, but it's called Natural Mauve. Underneath Natural Mauve is the khaki lip liner from Thrive Cosmetics. Underneath that, the sort of peachy one, is a lip liner from Becca called Pouty. Underneath that is Mink, which is from M Cosmetics. I'm missing, I'm missing one. What's going on? Okay, y'all, there's a lot going on. First, I think I'm, first of all, the baby is back from baby school. And so if you hear her chirping away, then that's what that is. <laughs> I usually, these days I'm usually able to film while she's not here, but um, alas, this is not one of those days. And secondly, I think that I might've swatched one twice. It's the only thing that I can figure out. It's the only thing that makes sense. Like it's the only thing that I think might've happened. Cause I, am I not counting right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we'll find out, right? When I review the footage, we'll find out. But for now, I think that that is, must, that is what must have happened. But I'm also missing a couple of lip liners. I'm missing Sugar and Spice. I'm missing my Juvia's Place lip liner. I don't know where it is right now. However, what I will say for us today is that we have triumphantly discovered that Kitten is pretty close to the color of this Givenchy lip liner. It's not quite as rich. And the thing about the Givenchy is that I really love the formula. It's not just the color, it's the formula. I'll probably replace it someday. All of the rest of these colors are either leaning kind of, you know, orangey peachy or leaning very, very brown, which I do love, but it's always nice to have this, you know, more, it's, it really, really is like my lips, but just slightly more pigmented. That's what that color is. And that's why I love it so much. But I don't think any of these is disappointing enough to give away to declutter right now. And it's not as though my collection of lip liners is like busting at the seams. Let's look at these Charlotte Tilbury ones. Yeah, those are super pretty and they're my only reds. They're my only like red leaning lip liners. They're pretty useful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep them. I think I'm gonna keep these guys. My lip liners, they're, they're all right. Except for this one, it's going to lip liner heaven. Okay, glosses. You know, I feel, I feel like I have more glosses than this. And there might be one or two missing, but I, I feel like I've just acquired a lot of lip glosses lately. I feel like I wear lip gloss a lot. And then when I put them all together like this, I mean, it's not as though this is, you know, a minuscule collection of glosses or something. It's just when I put them all together like this, especially compared to my lipsticks, I remember that I only got into gloss kind of recently. <laughs> you know, I remember that it's like, it's not really been my, my jam for very long. And so this is already like a pretty edited collection. And right off the bat, nothing is jumping out at me. Actually, yes, this is. This has made it through a couple of declutters. It's pretty old. I think it's from 2019. I do really love the gloss on the end of here, but the reality is that it's old. It's grody. It was limited edition. You can't really get it anymore. And I just don't wear it that often because I don't think of it because I have all of these other wonderful glosses. And even though it's great, it's, it's not just that I... It's not like it's the greatest ever and I don't think of it because of all these other glosses. I don't think of it because I, I have other glosses that I like better. For example, the, the coral gloss from Persona Cosmetics does the exact same thing in every way, but it's one of my favorite gloss formulas of all time. And this one, even though it's good, it, it's not. It's just this kind of like weird limited edition thing that they sent to me in PR, I think because they like needed to get rid of products. Like I think that it wasn't selling out. And so they just like started sending some of these limited edition products out to influencers to move them. By the time I started using it, I think like you couldn't even buy it anymore. And so it's just sort of sitting here being beautiful and weird and wasting away. And I think it's, it's time has come. Everything else is, I mean, it's not as though it's all on the newer side. Like, let's see, what are the actual oldest ones? This one, my friend Daisy sent to me, I think in 20, it, it was probably 2019 or 20. These I both got at BeautyCon probably again, like in 2019. No, Daisy wouldn't have sent this to me in 2020. I, I have no sense of time anymore. The pandemic really destroyed my sense of time. I think these are 2019. Those are all from 2019. These Kaja glosses are brand new and I love them. 
This Tower 28 gloss and this one I purchased for myself this year and I love them. Oat is looking incredibly orange though. Doesn't, like, I don't remember Oat being orange. Does this look to you like maybe the color's gone off and weird stuff is happening in the tube? Like the yellow is separated, yellow pigment is like separated out. Does it look weird to you? I know that something weird has happened with this one. I think that whatever, whether it's micas or glitters, whatever the metallic particles are, have like dyed the paddle green. And I just do not remember Oat looking this orange. Girl, look how orange you Evan look. Anyway, they're they're newish. They're pretty new. I mean, I got them for myself this year. I'm gonna keep them. This is new and PR gonna keep it. New and PR gonna keep it. New and PR. I never reckoned with this, but I'm gonna hang on to it for the time being and keep using it and because I haven't really given it like a thorough review. Favorite, favorite, love it, favorite. Love it, favorite. Like it a lot. Actually, this disappointed me a little bit and has recently kind of grown on me. And this is a nice nourishing glass as well. So all these are in great shape, still in rotation. And yeah, they're they're all they're all staying. And then these three are from 2019. Do they have expiration info on them? Yeah, Fussy says 12 months. And these glasses say 18 months. So according to the brands. These three glosses are past their past their prime. And here's the thing. They are feeling pretty old and I've used them a lot, especially this one. I've used all three of these a lot though. And so the packaging feels grody, the doe foot feels a little bit grody. And you know, this is like a wet product that you're putting on your lip and then dipping back in. I think, I think I'm just gonna let them go. I, I mean, they've been great. They're not totally panned, totally used up. But as you saw, I have a ton of beautiful glosses. I have 14 beautiful newish glosses that are in great shape. I would actually rather just focus on using them up before they go bad, instead of like obsessively using these even though they pretty much have, you know, according to the brand. And even if they haven't technically gone off, like even though in these three cases, it may not be that they're teeming with bacteria and they're gonna make me sick, they're just getting older with every day that passes. And since I have so many beautiful other ones and I've actually gotten really good use out of these three, I think it's okay for me to let let them go. This is one of my all-time favorite glosses and definitely my favorite drugstore gloss, the super lustrous, the gloss in the shade Blissed Out. It just looks so pretty on the lips and it feels wonderful. I will probably buy this again someday. I mean, not again, I, I didn't buy it actually. It was given to me for free for a review. I'll probably replace it someday by buying it for myself, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I have these 14 other beautiful glosses. I'm gonna work on them for a while. And then someday maybe when my gloss collection is dwindling, um, I'll buy this again. But I think that it's okay for me to let these guys go just in the interest of making sure that nothing that's too, too old gets kind of like stuck in my collection and then just stays way longer than it should. Okay, that is it. Wow, this is such a rainbow of gloss. There we go, a true lip gloss rainbow to end the video. This one's technically still in purgatory. I'm still testing it out, um, but this is great. I feel like this is like an approachable gloss collection for me. I can make progress on all of these and I'm really enjoying lip gloss lately. It's what I mostly wear. So uh, I'm hoping to make some progress on these, just like with the lipstick video, going through these glosses and checking the expiration dates on these ones that, you know, I know I've had them for a while, like a couple of years, but I wasn't sitting here feeling like they were aged, you know, but then you really think about it, think back and you check and you realize that they kind of are aged. Um, it really makes me want to focus on using these products up. It's really, really reminding me that these are perishable goods. They don't last forever. And hopefully um, if you needed the reminder, this was a reminder of that for you too. I feel a little bit less intensely that way about the lip liners because they're like in a wooden pencil and they're these hard 
sort of set crayon-like products. The pencil can be sharpened, they can be refreshed, they're not wet. I don't feel like they're they're as prone to go bad or you know a, as much something that might harbor bacteria. If I'm worried about one, if it feels really old, I can just sharpen it and like sharpen it down to totally fresh wood and, and totally fresh pencil. But you can't do that with a lip gloss. So I'm definitely gonna be focusing my energies on my lip glosses. I'm gonna be getting good use out of my lip liners as well. And both of these collections, again, feel like really approachable to me. Like I can keep all of this in my makeup mind palace. And that is my goal. Thank you so, so much for being here for this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And I really hope you're remembering to take extra good care of yourself because that's what'll make you the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world.